Hey lovely people. In this video we will know about black holes. Let's start from its history. The discovery of black hole is not very old. Before 100 years, no one know about black holes. Because of Einstein's theory of relativity, black holes were discovered. The theory had two parts the special theory of relativity and the general theory of relativity. The special theory of relativity published by Einstein in 1905, tells us how speed influenced time. For example imagine you are sitting in a spacecraft that is going very fast speed. So this theory states if the speed is too high, time will slow down for you. Not only from speed, but even gravity can also result in time dilation as shown by Einstein in his general theory of relativity in 1915. The more gravitational force you'd experience, the more time will slow down for you. This is known as gravitational time dilation. To visualize this theory, Einstein wanted us to imagine a space-time fabric, kind of mesh, on which all planetary objects are placed. The space-time fabric bends due to the mass of the object. And when the mesh bends not only does it attract physical objects more, but it leads to time dilation as well, and the other forms of energy, such as sound, heat, or light, they are affected by gravitation as well. This was another conclusion by Einstein. Gravitation affects almost everything. From gravitation force not only physical objects are attracted but it too attracts heat, sound and light as well. This means there can be such objects in the universe which have such a high gravitational force that they can completely absorb light. If there are such objects, it means that they'd be completely black. We won't be able to see, because not even light can escape them. Friends, this is exactly what black holes are. Now let's know how black holes are formed. Black holes are formed from stars, so there's some material at its center. But in stars, there's a continuous nuclear fusion reaction at their center. These reactions produce heat and light the heat produced sends the force outward, and at the center of the star, there's the force of gravity, this helps the star remain intact and alive. This is how the stars maintain equilibrium throughout their lives, the forces pushing outwards due to the reaction, and forces pulling inwards due to gravity, but these reactions take place when a fuel exits. Either hydrogen or helium. The fuel wouldn't be always there. It would burnt out to nil someday. And when the fuel ends, there wouldn't be any forces pushing outwards, and the gravitational force pulling inwards wouldn't be counted by an equal force, so that star will collapse on itself because of its own gravity. By the way, this will take a long time. Our sun's life expectancy is about 10 billion years. But what happens next depends on the mass of the star. Let's look at the chart of the life cycle of a star. If the mass of the star isn't high, that is our average star it turns into a red giant. After which it can become a planetary nebula, or a white dwarf. But if it was a huge star with a lot of mass, when it runs out of fuel, it cools down and turns into a red supergiant. And then the supergiant bursts, and turns into a supernova. After this, a Titu core remains. If the core is tiny, it is called a neutron star, but anything bigger than that, we call it a black hole. In simplified language, the mass of the star, after it collapsed due to its gravitational force, becomes small and condensed it can turn into a black hole. Specifically, how small is the volume of a compressed star? For a star as big as our sun, if it turns into a black hole the diameter of that black hole will be merely 50 kilometers. Can you imagine the volume getting this small? But for your knowledge wanna tell that our sun will not grow up to be a black hole. Because the maximum mass of a white dwarf can be 1.4 times the mass of our sun. Above which it can't be stable and would turn into a neutron star or a black hole. But since our sun is under this limit, it will become a white dwarf, instead of a black hole. Now I guess black hole concept is clear to you. Now let's know how many types of black hole are there. There are mainly three to four types of black hole. The first and the most common black hole is stellar black hole. The black holes that were created by the stars. Scientists have estimated that our Milky Way galaxy consists of 10 million to 1 billion such black holes. The second is primordial black hole. These black holes are as small as an atom. But their mass is like that of a mountain. These black holes are merely theoretical, hypothetical, we do not know much about this. The third type of black hole is supermassive black hole. These black holes are enormous. 
so big that their mass is more than that of one million suns combined. Scientists believe that at the center of every major galaxy, there is a supermassive black hole. The supermassive black hole is at the center of our Milky Way galaxy named as Sagittarius A. The fourth type of black hole is named as intermediate black hole, that lies somewhere between the sizes of stellar and supermassive black hole. Although, no proof on it has been discovered yet. The black hole isn't like a big black ball that sucks everything around it. As you know gravitational pulls in black holes is very high, so due to gravitational pull, a lot of gaseous matter and debris is attracted towards the black hole, and remains floating around it. Similar to how the planets revolve around the sun, because of sun's gravitational force. The difference is that gravitational pull of black holes is so strong, that the things revolving around it, revolves at a very high speed, and get so heated up that they turn into a flowing fluid-like matter. They literally become fire-like particles, that are hotter than a million degrees Celsius. The closer they get to the black hole, the faster they revolve around it. The particles revolve so fast, that they get rubbed together and compressed, this caused to to glow. There was a myth that the black holes suck up all the matter and keep getting bigger, and eventually, it will end the whole universe. But that don't work like that. At the center of each galaxy, is a supermassive black hole. And all other planetary bodies and stars in the range of the black hole, revolve around it. Just like all planets in our solar system that moves around the sun that same thing happens in the center of our galaxy in a more powerful manner. The things that we have seen for sure about black holes is this single photo. This photo was taken by Event Horizon Telescope, on the 10th of April 2019. So, you don't need to fear the black hole until you are in safe distance from it. Thanks for watching make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications.